Welcome to my video on general keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to start with F1 which is to display help. Using Firefox as the example program I press F1 and the Firefox support home page appears. Now that doesn't just work for Firefox, that works with many programs that have help built in. Next, Control C or Control Insert copies the selected item. So I've just done that now. I've now opened a notepad document to show this. Control V or Shift Insert paste the selected item. As you can see. Next is Control Z which is to undo an action. So I'm going to start by putting a small t. Then I'm going to write testing with a capital T. And when I do Control Z it reverts it back to the small t. So that undoes an action. Next is the delete key or control D which deletes the selected items and moves it to the recycling bin. So I have a text file here plus a delete or control D and that has now gone to the recycling bin. This is another opportunity to use the undo function control Z. Control Z has now restored the file to the desktop, so that has undone the action I've just done. And also, Control Y is another function to redo an action. So if I press Control Y, I get the option to delete it again, and it's back there. I'll just restore it again quickly for another demonstration. Next is the Shift plus Delete. So the Shift key plus the Delete key. Now that deletes the selected item without moving it to the recycling bin first. So it removes it without going through the recycling bin. So shift delete. Confirm it and it's gone. As you can see it hasn't gone to the recycling bin. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is F2 which renames the selected item. So for instance I'm going to choose this file. I press F2 and I get the option to rename the file by typing in a new name which is just like right clicking the file and pressing rename the next five keyboard shortcuts are related to documents and I'm going to use Word as the demonstration program so if you hold control and then use the right arrow key it makes the cursor jump to the beginning of the next word and if you hold the left key, it does the same thing in reverse, so it jumps to the beginning of the previous word. You can also do control and the down arrow key to jump to the beginning of the next paragraph. And the same again with the up arrow key to the beginning of the previous paragraph. Finally, if you hold control and shift down and use any of the keyboard shortcuts that I've just shown you, uh, you can use them to highlight a paragraph, word, and so on. The shortcut I'm going to show you now is using shift with any arrow key. This selects more than one item in a window, on the desktop, or text within a document. So I'm going to use the desktop as an example. I've selected one and I'm holding shift on my keyboard to easily select some of the icons that I would want to either edit or whatever I'm selecting them. Another similar one is selecting one of the icons holding control and I'm using the arrow key to go through them and using the space bar to select the one that you're currently hovering over as you can see, I'm, I can then select the individual ones that I want, and so on. A very useful function that I use all the time is Control plus A, and that selects all items in a document or window. For instance, I do it here and it selects all of the files in this window, and that's very useful when you're copying files. Next shortcut is F3. Now if the program you're currently using has an inbuilt find feature, this is uh, what 
will bring it up in most programs. So I press F3 and my cursor automatically goes to the Find dialog in Windows 7 and Windows Explorer. I can also show that in Firefox. I press F3 and the Find dialog appears at the bottom. Another very useful shortcut. If you select anything, a desktop icon, a file, anything like that in Windows Explorer or Windows, press Alt plus Enter on your keyboard and it brings up the properties for that selected item. Again, that works with many things, not just desktop shortcuts. Another shortcut I use a lot is Alt F4. Now this should work with almost every program. So whatever program you've currently got open, or whatever window you've currently got open, if you do Alt F4, it closes it automatically. So that can save you having to press the cross in the corner. Just open Firefox again as the demonstration program for the next shortcut. OK, the next one is Alt plus the space bar. Doing that, that brings up the shortcut menu for the active program. And that's the same menu you get when you right click the window bar for that program. I'm going to use Sibelius to demonstrate this next shortcut. So the shortcut I'm doing is Control plus F4, which closes the active document in programs that allow you to have multiple documents open simultaneously. So I'm going to open two files to demonstrate that. Now, as you can see, I have multiple documents simultaneously because I can minimize that. Minimize the other one as well. And there's my two documents in the same program. And now, I've currently got the string called tet document selected. If I press Control F4, that will close and I'm only left with the other one. This is the shortcut I've probably used the most out of all of the ones that I include in this video and that is Alt plus Tab which switches between open items so you first press Alt and then tap the Tab button on your keyboard and if you continue to press the Tab button you can see it cycles through each of the programs I have open so say I wanted to change to Adobe then I just go to the Adobe Reader and once it's vested on that release Alt and it will change to that window there's another very similar shortcut which is the Windows logo key plus tab so what that does is the same as alt tab but it cycles through the programs on the taskbar by using aero flip 3d which is a nice animation as I'm the kind of guy who wants to get the best performance out of their PC regardless of visual appearance I've got the error effects and animation stuff turned off so I'm not gonna change the settings just to demonstrate that in this video you can try that for yourself and you see what it looks like OK, back to the desktop for this one again. If nothing is selected and you hold Control and scroll the mouse wheel, this will change the size of your desktop icons, which can be quite useful. Next we're going to use F6 to cycle through elements in a window. So, I'm going to use Windows Explorer's the demonstration program. I press F6 you can see that it's going to different selected things in the program as I press F6 continuously. And this one is for, for Windows Explorer. If you press F4, it displays the address bar list at the top there, so you can easily go to a location. This next one isn't particularly useful. Perhaps if you don't have a mouse connected it would be. It's like an alternative for right-clicking. For instance, if I right click this hard hard disk, I get this. And if I select it and it's Shift plus F10, if I do that, I get the same shortcut menu. The next one is Control plus Escape, and that opens the Start menu. Very simple. 
going to use Firefox again for the demonstration program for this one. Okay, you see at the top of this menu bar here, there um, are letters that are underlined. Now, if you want the details, that's uh, because when it was programmed, an ampersand, the and sign, was used in front of the letter, and that underlines it. And what that allows us to do is to use this shortcut to easily select it. So, for instance, if I hold down Alt and follow that by pressing F, that opens up that menu. We do the same for the others. Alt E, Alt V. If we go to Alt F again, you can see that many of the uh, things you can select in this menu also have lines under them. For instance, if I wanted to create a new tab, I would now hold down Alt and then follow that by T, and a new tab would be created. So that can be quite useful. Again, if you haven't got a mouse, even more useful if your mouse breaks down or something. Whilst we're still in Firefox, very simple one, if you press F5 or Control plus R, that will refresh the page. If we go back to Windows Explorer again, and if we go into the hard drive and say program files, doesn't matter what, um, Alt plus the up arrow will view the folder one level up so that's going to go back to the hard drive and again back to my computer and finally the last shortcut that I'm going to demonstrate today is to open the task manager and that is control plus shift plus escape That concludes my video on general keyboard shortcuts. All the shortcuts can be found in the description box below. Feel free to rate and comment and please subscribe if you found my video useful. Thanks for watching.